We're going to tell you nothing. We're going to tell you about a wonderful sale coming up. It's framelits and thinlets, and there's some wonderful savings on these days. But I'm just going to concentrate on one set today. And the reason I'm doing that is because this set, Freestyle Florals, which was one of my favourites from last year, is 50% off. Ah, crazy, 50%. This is the set. This is Freestyle Florals. It's 663437. There are nine dies in the set. Now, I can't talk about this set without bringing up our wonderful cardstock pack, which we talk about often. There are 80 sheets. Um, and oh, let me just see what it says here. There are 20 colours, 80 sheets. And it is, has it got the paper weight? 216 grams or 18 pounds if you're in the States now. Just check this out. Let me, let me fan this out. Let me show you these lovely colours. These really do work across the whole year. From Valentine's through Easter, there's boy, there's girl, there's summer, there's Halloween, there's Christmas, there's everything you're going to need. And I'll just give this a proper fan, like what they do on the telly. So there you go. Look at those gorgeous, gorgeous colours. And they've got equally gorgeous names as well. But they're going through too quickly for me to tell you what they are. But they are wonderful. Now, that's the cardstock pack that I've used exclusively with the exception of a dark blue colour which comes from our Neutrals cardstock pack, which is equally wonderful. Um, I'm going to show you just a few of the cards that I've made using that set. So, nice and clean, just three colours in there, you'll recognise those, and the dark blue that I spoke about, lots of white space. Then, next up, I'm going to bring this card in. Again, similar sort of thing. See how modern, how fresh and contemporary. I always think you can never have too many flowers, but it's lovely to have a set that's slightly quirky, slightly different, with such great balance, different sizes, different dimensions. That's another one there. Again, this one, my daughter being Poppy, that's very close to my heart, obviously. Um, so just green, red, a couple of pinks, easy peasy. And last but not least, we have this one here, all using the freestyle florals, all using the card from our cardstock pack, as well, as I said, as the dark blue. Now, without further ado, I'm going to do something slightly different for my make today, and I'm going to be working with some distressing. So rather than use the cardstock pack this time, I'm going the opposite direction. I'm going to create my own colors. So what I have here, I have some of these lovely little distress inks, the mini ones. Um, and this is a set the other day. I thought, do you know what? I've, I'm running out of inks because my arch nemesis, young Josh, took all the best inks with him when he went off. So I was left without. And then I remembered I had this wonderful set. Perfection. There we are. Now let's get a few different colours out. Oh, I think I'll get right persimmon as well. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the inks. I'm just going to rub them onto the mat like so. So that's spiced marmalade. We're going to get that wild honey and let's get a nice yellow mustard seed, squeezed lemon. I'm going to go with squeezed lemonade. There we are. So we got those three colours sitting on my mat. Now, next up, I'm going to spritz and then I'm going to apply my cardstock. Now, you can do that. You can drag this through. You can dip it in like that. See how it picks the colour up. It's a random technique. It's always going to look cool no matter what you do. So there we are. I'm going to leave that like that at this point and just dry off my mat. Now, before I apply the next colour, and I think that's starting to look great already, I'm just going to dry that off with my Civics heat tool. We've got it on the highest heat setting there. So it's looking lovely already. You see how the colours sort of sit back as you dry these. Now it's not completely bone dry because I am going to come in with another colour and I think I'll choose Festive Berries which is a lovely red as the name suggests. I'm also going to take some picked raspberry. This has got slightly more pink in it. So one's a true red, the other one not so. And we'll put, oh look at that, look at that. There we are, we'll get the Festive Berries in there as well. And just drag a bit more so we're getting some of those spots in there. Oh, lovely. 
bang, wow, pow, look at that, look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's completely random, of course, um, but the more you do this, the more control that you can achieve. So you kind of half know how it's going to turn out, but never completely. Now, you see, I've left a little white. That's going to come in. Um, hopefully, when I do my die cutting, I'm just going to spritz with some water as well, just to lift some of that off. And I'll use my paper towel this time. So as that's drying in, I'll lift some of the pigment away. Wow, pretty cool. So let's get that bone dry because I've also done the same thing with some of the greens. Again, using the same distress inks. Well, obviously different colors. Um, there we are. So we've got a green one and we've got one with our reds, yellows and oranges. So that is now ready to go. And as always in these demonstrations, at some point, I'm going to bring in my trusty, beloved Big Shot. Now, let's put both of these onto the bed of the Big Shot. So I'm using both layers of the platform and my two cutting plates. Now, what I want to do is put this around so I find a really interesting part of the colour there. I'm going to do the same with this one. I kind of like that. Mm, let's go there. Decisions, decisions. Now, we'll run that through and see what we've got. Now, when you've got colour like this, it looks really cool. I'm going to run it through the other way. I don't need to, but for peace of mind, I know a lot of you out there like to do that twice. But you see, we've got a beautiful cut. Now, these will look great against white. But today, I'm, I'm going to put these against some black cut but let me just pop that out there and you can see you can see how it looks against the white that, that's pretty cool but when you see it against the black wow it really will make a huge huge difference and I'm popping this one out I'm using a paper clip because I forgot my die pack unforgivable so there's the green one. Isn't that great? The three different greens there there's a blue in there as well so now I've got some pieces of black card, and that's what I'm going to use today. Um, and I'm going to have this kind of overlapping the edge as well. So I'll just take my craft mat again, and we'll put some of my Sizzix Express glue onto the mat. This is one of the best ways to get them in place without getting any blobs of glue, not that it would really matter with, because it does dry clear. So I'm going to put that on there like so. Now, next up, I'm going to take the green leaf. Now, look at how, look at how, see the difference it makes against the black. Wow, that really does sing out. That's absolutely gorgeous. Now, at this point, I made a terrible discovery that I haven't got my scissors. So, Andy's going to sing a song while I go over here and get some scissors. So, entertain the folks, Andy. He's gone suddenly very quiet. Apparently he has a lovely voice, I don't know. Is that, is that true, Freya? Has your dad got a lovely voice? What's he like on a karaoke? Answers on a postcard. So there we are. We'll just trim that to size. And again, I'll do the same here. Just snipping there. You can use a craft knife. And we use my trusty Sizzix scissors. Now, let's put these onto a background because I want to kind of layer these up. So I've chosen a white background just to frame this. And we'll pop that one there like so. So being careful to get, get it equal all the way around. And next up, we'll take my flower. Again, making sure it's parallel with the edge before taking the backing off. This is my Sizzix foam tape, uh, which is absolutely wonderful, particularly if you've remembered your die pick or you've got long nails neither of which I have to hand, unfortunately. 
I know Andy's got long nails, but they're just drying. He certainly just put some varnish on them, a new colour. So there we are. We'll place one here, like so. And then the second one, thus. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. There are two cards. Took about five minutes from start to finish, something like that. Lots of strong colour, lots of impact, just keeping it with the black and white so we've got elegant and beauty down there. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna put just to remind you, let's put the other cards down there as well. So this is using our lovely Sizzix card stock. Um, a stunning set, as I said, it is 50% off at the moment, along with a lot of my favourite dies from last year and indeed earlier on this year. So Take advantage of it um, while you can. And uh, now more than ever, we need these savings, don't we? So thank you very much for joining me today. Um, if you want more inspiration, go to sizzix.co.uk. You'll see lots of things on Facebook from all our other designers. And check out the blogs, check out the vlogs. Uh, there's so much going on. There's so much creative inspiration. If you're in the US, it's sizzix.com, of course. Thank you for joining me. I've been Pete. Please be